welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 times Rick from The Walking Dead went beast mode. You better run. You fight to the fans. Put your guns on the floor and kneel. For this list, we're looking at the times Officer Friendly stopped being nice so he could start eliminating his enemies. Since we'll be shambling by some major plot points, beware of spoilers ahead. What's your favorite Rick Grimes action scene? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Cutting Down Prison Walkers When Rick gets the news that his wife lost her life, he is overwhelmed with a sense of loss. He decides to process his feelings by picking up an axe and hacking away at walkers trapped in the prison. Rick manages to take down a ridiculous number of them single-handedly in extremely dark hallways. While that sounds intimidating on its own, what really makes his rampage frightening is that he doesn't speak a single word the entire time. Everybody's worried about you. You shouldn't be in here. We know there are many different ways people can process grief, but we're pretty sure that Rick's insane axe spree is the most intimidating coping method we've ever seen. Rick, why don't you just come on out with me, okay? Rick. <laughs> Number nine. Fighting Pete. Keep walking. What? What are you. Shortly after arriving in Alexandria, Dr. Pete welcomes Rick with an ominous greeting. My wife cut your hair. Yeah. Welcome to Alexandria. And upon observing how Pete abuses alcohol and mistreats his family, Rick becomes wary of him. The tensions between the two rise until they finally boil over in a climactic fight scene. It doesn't matter that the doctor is bigger or that they both crash through a window. Rick is so focused on reducing Pete to a pulp that he pushes away his son Carl when he tries to stop the fight. Rick ultimately decides to let the doctor live another day. However, as soon as Alexandria's leader Deanna decides she wants Pete gone for good, Rick does not hesitate to put him down. Rick. Do it. Number 8. Taking Out Tomas Rick forms an uneasy deal with a group of prisoners led by a man named Tomas. The officer agrees to help the felons take out some walkers in exchange for food. We'll take half. In exchange, we'll help clear out his cell block. Didn't you hear him? There's only a little left. Bet you got more food than you got choices. When they're all fighting together, Tomas tries to get rid of Rick while making it look like an accident. But after Rick survives these attempts on his life, he immediately and violently takes out Tomas. He's coming at me, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. I get it. A prisoner named Andrew tries to retaliate, but Rick chases him down and leaves him at the mercy of walkers. You better run. <laughs> No matter how tough these prisoners were, even they were helpless against an angry Rick. Betraying him is the biggest mistake any survivor can make. Sir, please, please listen to me. It was them that was bad, it wasn't us. Oh, that's convenient. Number 7. Escaping Terminus Things weren't looking good for Rick after he arrived at Terminus. He's bound, gagged, and held captive by a group who see humans as gourmet meals. You're really gonna let me do this? Well, let me take you out there. I'll show you. Not gonna happen. This might. But he turns things around with a piece of wood. While the villains are distracted by an explosion, Rick cuts himself free and takes out two of them. He frees his allies, cuts down walkers, and ambushes a gun-toting Terminus resident. Rick uses the stolen gun to shoot his way through the living and undead enemies until he's reunited with his family. Oh, you fight to the fans! His success fills him with so much adrenaline that he wants to head back into Terminus to finish off the residence. While Rick couldn't get revenge, yet, he could still celebrate pulling off a badass escape. They don't get to live. Rick, we got out. It's over. It's not over. Number 6. Defeating the Spiked Walker Winslow I'm Rick. We own your lives. You want to buy them back? 
While preparing to battle the Saviors, Rick finds himself at the mercy of a group called the Scavengers. Although he attempts to make an alliance with their leader Jadis, she refuses to negotiate until Rick proves himself. She then pushes him into a junkyard pit and makes him fight a walker covered in spikes named Winslow. Rick doesn't have any weapons and can't touch his foe without injuring himself. But after getting some advice from Michonne, he sends the garbage around him toppling onto Winslow. He then picks up a piece of glass and finishes the spiky walker off for good. Rick's victory in this impromptu gladiator match is one of his most impressive accomplishments. Rick can do anything. Number 5. Ambushing Negan Solo You are out of bullets. Come on up. In the middle of the Savior War, Rick decides to try to end the conflict early by ambushing their leader Negan. When they both crash their cars, Rick walks out of the wreckage and starts shooting immediately. He ignores walkers completely while pursuing Negan into a dark building. Their ensuing fight is filled with hard hits, near misses, and plenty of taunts. This is where you die. In the dark. All alone. What the hell is your problem, Rick? Although Rick manages to light Negan's signature weapon on fire, he still isn't able to take down the head savior in this fight. Rick shows incredible determination and courage during his single-minded pursuit. His hard work would later pay off when he overcame pain and the odds to beat Negan in their one-on-one -on -one rematch. Negan's alive, but his way of doing things is over. And anyone who can't live with that will pay the price. Number four, fulfilling a harsh promise. It wasn't just a trap, it was gonna be a choice. You join us or feed us. One of the most despicable Walking Dead villains was the head of Terminus, Gareth. Rick promised to dispatch him during their first confrontation. After escaping Rick's wrath once, Gareth makes the fatal mistake of going after the heroes again. Rick decides to lure the villain into a trap. He's barely able to contain his quiet rage as he confronts Gareth with harsh truths. And we will never cross paths again, I promise you. Unless you cross someone's path. Eventually, Rick can't hold back anymore and reaches for a weapon he promised to end Gareth's life with. Knowing that Rick planned this visceral scene is really, really intense and unsettling. But his actions are arguably understandable for a villain as despicable as Gareth. I'm just making sure it's a big play. Remember what these people are capable of. Number 3. Taking on a Horde It turns out that Rick's prison rampage was just a warm-up for Alexandria. After the city is overwhelmed by walkers and Carl is severely wounded, Rick decides to take on the Horde by himself. Armed with nothing but a hatchet, he wades into the walkers and cuts down every single one he sees. Even when Rick is completely surrounded with no hope of escape, he refuses to stop swinging at them again and again. His insane display of courage and endurance eventually inspires other Alexandria residents to rise up and fight the horde with him. You guys are sitting out there in front. We need to get out there. Rick's making a stand. But we have a feeling that if you gave Rick enough time, he could have taken care of all of them by himself. We can beat him! We can beat him! Number 2. Destroying a Bridge While Wounded As a large horde of walkers descends on his family and friends, Rick volunteers to lead the undead army away. Come on, let's go. Wait. I'm gonna stay back, lead him away from the camp. What? I'm staying. No, man! I'm not giving up on it, not yet. Unfortunately, he suffers a severe wound after his horse throws him off. Although Rick loses a lot of blood and keeps hallucinating, he still tries to lead the walkers away from his loved ones. He eventually makes it to a bridge. After somehow gathering the strength to take a few walkers down with a hatchet, he uses his gun to ignite sticks of dynamite. I found him. The resulting explosion destroys the bridge and takes out a huge amount of walkers. But the most incredible part of this amazing feat is that he survives both his wound and the explosion. Is Rick Grimes just immortal? You're gonna be okay. You're gonna save you. Drifting on the spaceway. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. 
clotheslining walkers while driving. Hitting Bob with a car. Stop right now. Stop. Ending his threatening countdown early. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Dispatching Negan without hesitation. Now, there's a whole world of fun that we can talk about. So let's have a chat. I'm sorry I had to come to that. Taking down two threatening bar patrons. I don't know. I hear Nebraska's nice. <laughs> Nebraska, this guy. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, desperately biting Joe. Maybe this place isn't even there anymore. Oh, dearie me. You screwed up, asshole. A peaceful moment between Rick and Michonne is completely shattered when Joe and his gang of claimers shows up and holds the heroes at gunpoint. Joe makes it clear that he will assault and likely end the lives of everyone there. When Rick fails to gain the upper hand with a headbutt, he does the only thing he can think of. Ah, right over here. What the hell are you gonna do now, sport? He bites Joe. This act leaves Joe's crew so shaken that Rick, Michonne, and Daryl are able to turn the tide and overwhelm the gang. Rick's bite marks the moment that he fully embraced his most savage and animalistic instincts. It was also when we knew he was willing to put his humanity aside to save the ones he loves. Hey, what you did last night. Anybody would have done that. No, not that. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.